Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is under calculation under quadratic equation. It says minus five is a root of the quadratic equation. This is the equation n square minus eight n minus sixty-five equal to zero. They have given us one root, so we are asked to find the next root. Let's use a formula method to solve or to find the the second root. You know, in a quadratic equation, we have the formula x equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4 ac all over all over 2a, right? Okay, let's substitute. Let's make our a equal to 1. A is the first one, B is the second one, and C is the third one. So our A here is N. You know, in mathematics, if the number is not given, then we signify it as what? 1. So here our A is 1. Then our B is the second one, which is B equal to minus 8. You know, there is minus sign here. Then C is the third one. And C equal to minus 65. Okay, so let's substitute them in this equation. So x equal to minus our b here is minus 8, right? So bracket open minus 8 plus or minus square root. Our b here is minus 8. So minus 8 raised to the power 2 minus 4 multiplied by our a is 1 and our c is our c is minus 65 all over 2 multiplied by our a is 1. Okay. So minus times minus to give us plus. So let's open the bracket. So the same thing as 8 plus plus or minus so here yeah, minus 8 square means minus 8 times minus 8 to give us 64 minus here yeah, 4 multiplied by 1 is 4 then 4 multiplied by 65 here we have minus sign so if we open the bracket this minus we multiply this minus it will change to plus i get me so 4 multiplied by 65 to give us 260 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so 8 equal to 8 plus or minus so 64 plus 260 here is 324 64 plus 260 will give you 324 okay over 2 so square root of 324 to give us to give us 18 all over 2 okay please let's solve it here so we have x equal to 8 plus 18 over 2 or x equal to 8 minus 18 over 2. So 8 plus 18 divided by 2 to give us 13. Then the second one is 8 minus 18 divided by 2 to give you minus 5. So you see that minus 5 is the first root. I see it now. Then the second one is what? 13. So these are the two roots. So you can use formula method to calculate equations like this. Okay. So this is the simplest way you can do it. So if you don't understand, you can rewatch the video. Okay. Okay, thanks for watching. Please follow my page for more videos. If you are watching on YouTube, subscribe for more videos. Please share this video to your friends, to your colleagues. Okay, please don't forget to share. Follow my page. Bye.